Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, pastor of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I just want to grab a moment of your time to talk to you about a very, very special time that we have here every week, and that is our Thursday night Bible study. Yeah, Bible study. At Upper Room, Bible study is a big deal. Now, the Bible study is as simple of a service as can be. We have prayer. We have praise and worship, a little testimony service. If someone has something special to share, then they put me up and we teach the word of the Lord. Uh, we don't necessarily have a shout to break out, although that has happened. And uh, uh, we don't go to the rooftop and, and uh, uh, with all the, the shouting and the dancing that, that, that generally takes place on our Sunday morning services, but we come and we study the scriptures it has been described to be more like a slow rain as the word of the Lord is taking root in people's spirits and in people's hearts. And you know what? Uh, as with our Sunday morning services, we in invite the members to come and to bring their Bibles. I don't know. I guess I'm just old fashioned. I guess I'm just out of the loop. But I believe that believers should have their Bibles. And, 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 and when, they, when they attend service, bring your Bibles along with you. Take your Bible to church. And nothing, my friend, is as, as, as wonderful to me as to hear the, 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 the pages turning as we turn in the scriptures to the various books of the Bible that God leads us to teach and preach from. You hear the crackling of the pages as the saints are going to the text and we study. Now, I don't think it's a sin to have a Bible on your iPhone or your iPad or any of these other places. As a matter of fact, I think you should have your Bibles there also. But you need to have your own personal Bible. You need to have that book in your hands. You know, in this day and time with the technology being what it is today, you know, uh, online and, and with the technology, things can be changed. But you know what? They can't alter your book. Once you've purchased it and you have that Bible, no one can change it. The truth of God's word is right there in your hands. And, and then it gets personalized. This is what I love. You, you, you have your notes and your, your highlighters and the different things that causes your Bible to be personalized. And you know what? I'm coming to a close with this. I'm going right long. But one of the, one of the difficult parts of my walk with Christ is when I've uh, worn a Bible out, <laughs> the pages are falling out of the thing. I preach from it so much that the perspiration have dropped down and my notes have become blurred. And it's time to get a new Bible. And it's like starting all over. But then when you buy the new Bible, when you open it up, there's the smell of the ink. There's the crispness of the new pages. And then you start personalizing it, making your ministry notes, uh, familiarizing yourself with it. And the process starts over. I gave my heart to the Lord in 1977. I think that I have had in that walk from 77 up until now, I have multiple Bibles, but preaching Bibles, I'm probably, if my memory serves me correctly, on my fifth one, uh, maybe fourth or fifth. I, I don't like to change, and all of the Bibles that I previ previously used, I keep them. I keep them. I keep them in my office. I, I, from time to time, I, I revert back to them. And my, my latest one, the last one, my previous one, the pages now, they all fall out. It's not fit for traveling anymore. I have to treat it like the delicate document that it is because it's the word of God. And so, my friends, listen, I want to invite you to come. Be a part of our Thursday night service. Just come. Come and bring your Bibles and, and sit and listen and, and get about an, an hour of, of teaching from the word of the Lord and uh, it will bless you real good. Thank you for your time. Make it a great day. May God's choice blessings be yours.